Hey everybody, today we are going to take a look at the Caldwell 7 rest. This seems to be one of the cheapest rests on the market, which is metal instead of plastic. By the way, the weird plastic on the box is cable ass packaging. I don't know if I'm crazy, but the rest on this side of the box doesn't have a curve and the new design seems to be curved. So all around a great looking box. So let's be careful with it. By the way, this is a cable ass folding knife. It is decent for the cheap price. Only $5.99 on sale. As you can see, the rest is fairly tight in the box with the bubble wrap. They use a very good tape to put that together. Here goes the very slim user manual. I will show a bit what they say in it later. Look at how great this knife is at cutting a zip tie and how good this packaging is. So I tried it with a short rifle the way it was in the box elevation wise and obviously it is not great. The main reason I got this rest is to use it as a vice to clean my airgun barrels and put scopes on and things like this but I also wanted to be able to shoot with it. I will let you take a look at all you can get from the user manual. It is pretty simple to use, you simply loosen one of the nuts and move the thing and do this and that. And that's pretty clear. You like the user manual. I think I paid around $45 for it, but it was on sale the next day for $35, but I saved shipping, so I guess that's fine. It has a soft backrest with a very soft middle and a harder front rest. I like the softness of the rear piece, but it has a bit of a molding problem. The front piece is harder, but kinda soft, so I don't think it will scratch anything. The finishing on the end caps is not perfect, but 2 out of 4 are decent. And the legs have a little bit of rubber to make it stay in place. It is pretty steady. I tried to shake it and it wasn't really moving. Keep in mind I'm on the freezer and the freezer itself is not very sturdy. I think the bolt should be about an inch longer to provide more elevation adjustment because the back bolt is touching the ground and I'm pretty much maxed out. You can always play with the back of the stock on the rest but do you really want to do that? I don't see any problem using it with under levers or AR kind of rifles. You would have to use a bit of creativity to use it with a smaller gun or a pistol. You can rotate the frame around to make it left-handed or I believe you can unscrew the legs to really make it left-handed. When you're done using it, simply loosen the cap on the leg a little bit and it will fold itself and you can then tighten up a little bit to make it stay like that. And this is the moment you realize you should be sleeping instead of filming videos. I did not have the time and space to try it yet, but I think it would be perfect for what I want to do with it. And I cannot wait to test it a little more this summer. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.